happiness depends more upon the internal frame of a person's own mind than on the externals in the world. Hi! In today's video, Top 30 Unbelievable Advices from George Washington for a Fulfilling Life If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below saying, I subscribed, and we will try our best to reply to your comment. He was an American military officer, statesman, and founding father who served as the first president of the United States from 1789 to 1797. Washington has been called the father of the nation for his manifold leadership in the formative days of the country. Perseverance and spirit have done wonders in all ages. Labor to keep alive in your breast that little spark of celestial fire called conscience. Human happiness and moral duty are inseparably connected. I consider the most enviable of all titles, the character of an honest man. Be courteous to all, but intimate with few, and let those few be well tried before you give them your confidence. Knowledge is in every country the surest basis of public happiness. Ninety-nine percent of failures come from people who make excuses. The harder the conflict, the greater the triumph. Happiness depends more upon the internal frame of a person's own mind than on the externals in the world. It is better to offer no excuse than a bad one. Real men despise battle, but will never run from it. A sensible woman can never be happy with a fool. We should not look back unless it is to derive useful lessons from past errors, and for the purpose of profiting by dearly bought experience. If freedom of speech is taken away, then dumb and silent we may be led, like sheep to the slaughter. Worry is the interest paid by those who borrow trouble. Be not glad at the misfortune of another, though he may be your enemy. Associate yourself with men of good quality, if you esteem your own reputation. It is better to be alone than in bad company. Bad seed is a robbery of the worst kind, for your pocketbook not only suffers by it, but your preparations are lost and a season passes away unimproved. We must consult our means rather than our wishes. To persevere in one's duty and be silent is the best answer to calumny. My observation is that whenever one person is found adequate to the discharge of a duty, it is worse executed by two persons, and scarcely done at all if three or more are employed therein. My mother was the most beautiful woman I ever saw. All I am I owe to my mother. I attribute my success in life to the moral, intellectual, and physical education I received from her. I hold the maxim no less applicable to public than to private affairs, that honesty is always the best policy. Anything will give up its secrets if you love it enough. Strive not with your superiors in argument, but always submit your judgment to others with modesty. No punishment, in my opinion, is too great for the man who can build his greatness upon his country's ruin. 
decision-making, like coffee, needs a cooling process. A slender acquaintance with the world must convince every man that actions, not words, are the true criterion of the attachment of friends. If we desire to avoid insult, we must be able to repel it. If we desire to secure peace, one of the most powerful instruments of our rising prosperity, it must be known that we are at all times ready for war. He died peacefully between 10 and 11 p.m. on December 14, 1799, with Martha, his wife, seated at the foot of his bed. His last words were tis well, from his conversation with Lear about his burial. He was 67. The diagnosis of Washington's illness and the immediate cause of his death have been subjects of debate since the day he died. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a like. I'll leave another video on the card that you will definitely like too. Thank you and have a great day!